Wednesday, May 4th. <clears throat> May the 4th be with you because it's hockey playoffs. Oh my goodness. The most exciting playoffs of any major sport, in my opinion. Seven game series of hockey is fantastic. There were some amazing games over the last few days, and here we're now entering the second game of the series. Let's talk about what the algorithm says. The algorithm has not been doing well so far um, because it's playoffs. I mean, like, all bets are off. It's playoffs. Everyone's playing for their life. So today, one change from game one. It's Linus Woolmark instead of Jeremy Swayman going for Boston. It's probably because Carolina really ran the score up on them last time. Now, the algorithm said that, that Boston wins this game with Swayman. So, you know, if you put Swayman in there, they actually – it's about the same score, but now when you throw Ulmark in, is that slightly better? 57-61. It's hardly changing anything. So it had Boston winning this game, but this game's in Carolina. The fans were insane. If you look at the streaks, it slightly gives it to Carolina because they've been playing so much better. But it's really because Rant is in there instead of Anderson. Anderson, I believe, is still hurt. And if you throw Anderson in this game, you can see that it really favors Carolina by 5%. It gives them the game. So it's kind of like Ranta is playing as well as Anderson was, given that he's the number one guy now. And so it's just tough to call. I, I'm fighting with the algorithm on what to believe here. Uh, I understand why Carolina is a favorite, and I would probably bet on Carolina if I bet on this game, which I'm not doing today. But if I did, I would probably do that. So, tough game. Once again, should be closer. We'll see. It looks like Ulmark has got a decent rating, actually. His rating's picked up over the last year. So, that, once again, really interesting to watch. Now, does Tampa Bay answer back against Toronto? All of a sudden, things have flipped here. And it's favoring Toronto by this score. I did not do that when we ran the simulation for the first game. So something's going on with the injury report. Who's injured? Who's injured on Tampa Bay? Uh, let's look. Let's scroll down to Tampa Bay's injuries. I wonder if somebody's hurt. Because that it's Toronto has injuries. Uh, <laughs> three goalies are injured. Kenzie, I do not see any injury for Tampa Bay. So my instincts, as usual, are wrong, and I don't understand why Tampa Bay's projected score and power are lower, um, even though the goaltending's better. They are defending champions. It says take Tampa Bay when you look at how they've been streaking, not including the, the most recent playoff game, but it's playoff time, and Toronto really seems to want it. At least that's the way it looked. Um, that's the way it looked uh, in game one. So at least the algorithm is now consistent, saying Toronto wins this game and goes up 2-0 in the series. The one game the algorithm got right two days ago was St. Louis over Minnesota. Here it's it's become even more of a toss-up, and again, I don't know why. Um, probably has something to do with streak factor. No, look at this. I mean, tie game, Villahuso over Marc-Andre Fleury. You do get the underdog dog line, but the adjusted power does not favor them and says Minnesota's streaking better. So apparently too close to call, according to the algorithm. But the better line is St. Louis, so that's, there's that. L.A. and Edmonton's the other game. And man, look at Edmonton at minus 200 as a hockey player, as someone who's seen playoff hockey in the past, as someone who understands the pressure that they are under in Edmonton, when you're under that kind of pressure and you haven't won in the past, accidental goals start going in and Jonathan Quick starts standing on his head. You can see he's right there with Mike Smith. I'm telling you, there's going to be a goalie change in here. As a matter of fact, I know people think that Kockenden's numbers were crap, but his win-loss was actually really good throughout the season. And when, when you throw a ranking on him, he's exactly the same as Mike Smith right here. So you throw in Koskinen. Yeah, Kockenden, Koskinen. Throw them in there, and it's about the same, and, and gives it to Edmonton as a four pick, but about the same. Tough call. So Edmonton desperately, desperately, desperately needs it, and for some reason they're having trouble attaining that, and Quick is a good goaltender. So the 61 to 45, you can see that all these other teams have higher percentages than 61 that you're looking at. Minnesota, St. Louis. Tampa Bay, Toronto, only 
Carolina, Boston are lower in that sense, and that's because of Ranta. Here, it's because it's because of Mike Smith a little bit, and and that's causing issues. Should be a heck of a game. I will not take Edmonton, so they'll probably win. But I won't take them because I'm just going off of emotion, and, and, and you know, the almost the, the algorithm's not doing a great job of predicting in the playoffs, and I've seen that in the past too. It, it, it's you know playoffs are just a completely different animal. And then I'm not going to do another video for tomorrow because I'm going to be rolling tomorrow. And um, it looks like Rangers lose a tough one. And overtime was a triple overtime game last night. And who knows if Casey DeSmith might be, might be Louis Domingue. What if it is Louis Domingue? Where is that? Because that's what it was in overtime. It could be Louis Domingue. What's that going to do? Yeah, that's going to make the Rangers own it. Um so we'll see if that happens. I don't know what's wrong with the Smith, whether he just cramped up in a triple overtime game or what. Double overtime by that point when he went out. Uh, you've got Washington. Thank you for upsetting Florida and making the house happy. We're all Caps fans. And so that was amazing. You get him at plus 200 line, but it looks like Carlson and Wilson may be hurt when we look at Washington's injuries for tomorrow. That is trouble. Yup. Lower body day to day. Uh, it looks like Carlson's not on here. That would be really fantastic. Carlson is an integral defenseman on that team. So, once again, can they pull up some magic? Because you can see Florida did not win. And then Colorado made no mistake getting up 5 nothing in the first period against Nashville last night. Uh, being very consistent. The odds makers see that. Colorado ain't messing around at home. So... It's very difficult to bet in Asheville after that authoritative win in game one. And you look at that. Andre plays a good game last night. It looks like I think it was a one nothing final that Calgary won the game last night. So they weren't, you know, that's what playoff hockey is kind of supposed to be about is defense. And I'm just going to double check that score real fast because I want to, yeah, it was one nothing. I mean, this thing was 7-2 to Colorado. But, yeah, um, so Calgary having trouble against Andre, that's to be expected. So this, this projected score is a little high, but Calgary probably still just barrels through this because they are a really strong team. So that's the NHL round one game two update for everybody. If you do one thing today, what do you do? I don't even know what you do. It's a disaster, honestly. You, you probably look for good lines because it's playoff hockey. I'd say uh, if you do the all underdog... I mean, it's tough to, tough to bet against Carolina after that big win in Game 1. So I almost want to take Carolina. I s Tampa Bay can answer back. They are Tampa Bay. But Toronto looked crazy strong, right? Um, this is a good line for St. Louis in a very close game where Mark andre Fleury can potentially blow games, I feel like, right now. He's getting older. And this 170, I mean, you just, you just feel Edmonton having trouble. And I kind of like being on the side of, you know, if, if McDavid and Dreisaitl really light it up and really beat the crap out of L.A., so be it. But I, I feel like they're going to run into some brick walls sometimes. And, if, I mean, L.A. plus one and a half, that's going to be probably a very reasonable line uh, in a game that otherwise could get on to being tied 3-3 or something or who knows. All right, so good luck. May all your picks be winning.